So we're here at the Tau Glass booth during Mobile World Congress Los Angeles and uh, Dermot, it's been a big year for the company. I know you've uh, seen a major expansion and had two big acquisitions. Maybe you can bring us up to speed. Yeah, thanks Sean. Yeah, we had um, one acquisition at the end of last year of Think Wireless. Uh, Think Wireless are specialists in um, antennas for commercial vehicles. So um, mainly trucks, buses, RVs, things like that. Um, we come up across, we come across them as a competitor actually and we're very impressed with what they did um, and custom uh, solutions that they do for commercial vehicles. Um, so that's been very successful. They've grown um, themselves, they've grown their sales and what we're doing is, is expanding their products uh, into our existing customers but also to target uh, the commercial vehicle market outside North America. So Think Wireless had nice business in North America but we're uh, targeting the commercial vehicle manufacturers outside America with those products. Um, and then this year uh, we completed the acquisition of one of our partners, uh, Firmwave. Um, they are headquartered in Dublin and uh, we had been working with them on some IoT projects. So they kind of solve complex uh, IoT challenges that customers have. Um, they had 30 engineers um, working on very advanced IoT solutions. So um, that's, that, that was our third acquisition in total. Um, so now we have um, one very strong group, over 100 engineers, um, and we, um, we're calling it Next Generation IoT Solutions. So we're really solving complex challenges that customers have. So if we think about the integrated company as a whole, how would you say that the value proposition has changed with the integration of those two companies? So I think um, like we've always been known as an antenna provider and that's, you know, 95% of our business today is antennas. Um, but because we've solved complex antenna challenges for our customers and RF challenges, helped them with noise issues on their devices as well as custom antenna designs, our customers really trust us because um, we've been doing that for 16 years. We have a global footprint, um, a lot of very talented um, engineers that can solve those complex challenges. So with that trust, customers have been asking us to do more, asking us, what else do you do? Um, and our customers are overwhelmed with the complexity and don't have the resources in-house anymore to, to, put it, to, um, to keep up with the pace of change. So you look at like when we started working with customers 16 years ago, there was one or two radios. Now there may be eight or 10 or 16 radios and multiple antennas. So the complexity to design the device successfully has really, really increased. And then you have like um, new technologies like centimeter level positioning, uh, complex noisy vision systems, AI, things like that. So we're really um, looking to help uh, the customers that trust us in the areas that they're struggling in. Um, and then after that, as, uh, you know, sell them more components than just antennas. So we've, we kind of started with cables and connectors two years ago. We added filters last year. Um, now we're doing positioning modules and next year we'll be launching our uh, vision system solutions. All right, and on that customer front, I know you all had a nice win with Vodafone that was announced uh, during the show. Can you tell us a little bit about that partnership? Yeah, so um, Firmwave have been working with Vodafone in Ireland um, for many years and um, Vodafone uh, launched their Invent platform for their customers and uh, Firmwave's Edge Board, which is now our Tauglas Edge Board, is used as the uh, hardware and connectivity solution for that platform. So um, like anything in IoT, it's, you know, these partnerships are developed over years. Um, it's very important to understand exactly what it is the customer is, is trying to achieve. Um, but with all the operators and carriers globally, we really have a very good relationship. Um, because even though the carriers don't generally buy directly from us, we're helping solve the customer's problems together. Um, and hardware, antennas, connectivity, that's an area that a lot of customers uh, struggle with and that's what Vodafone see. So they've, be, they've been referring uh, customers to us. So Vodafone are trying to make um, you know, IoT easier for customers. So pilot programs, you know, um, low volume um, rollouts, things like that. So this allows any customer to just test, trial and get connected very quickly. And Dermot, I got to ask you, there's a really cool Chieftain Limited behind us here. 
What's the, uh, the purpose of putting this in your booth? What are we taking away from that? So like, you know, this is a good example of a customer that, you know, wants, um, you know, very, very good connectivity, very efficient antenna and RF performance, but in a covert manner. So um, products like this, they don't want external antennas anymore. So our LTE and GPS antennas are hidden in under the fairing of the motorcycle and yet have excellent performance. And so we, ha we work uh, closely with their design engineers from the, from the very beginning. Um, and it, it can be a mechanical engineering exercise as much as a RF engineering exercise to come up with the desired solution for the customer. So, um, and then apart from that, it's just a product that we love. Um, and it's a product that really works well on the booth. But it's, it's just a good example of, you know, where customers don't really think of, oh, oh so, so that's what you do. You know, so oh, I didn't even know that, you know, we had, there was a GPS and cellular antenna inside the motorcycle. But, you know, because people don't actually think how do they get navigation with real time traffic information or how do they get internet radio? And um, we've gone so used to it, we just expect it to be there. Um, but like our RF expertise and antenna products are very much a part of that. And that's it right there, isn't it? Tau Glass does the hard work of the details so the customer just has it easy to go. That's what we're trying to do, yeah, make it easy for our customers. We have a, a saying in, internally that we help our customers get to market on time the first time. Um, and that's how we win the trust of the customers like I was talking about. Well, it sounds like you guys are on an excellent growth trajectory and I really appreciate you taking the time to bring us up to speed on what the company's doing. Okay, thanks for your time, Sean. Appreciate it.